welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with your girl, Philly Phil. All right. Okay. I'm going to try and give you a quick update on Miss Terrica Ellis. Okay. Now, I know uh, you, you guys may have already seen some updates out there. I've been trying to keep up with this. I'm following the St. Louis Post Dispatch and um, keeping up with them as best I can. But your girl moving a little slow right now. I got a little uh, fracture on my left leg. So, moving a little slow. But anyway, let me give you a quick update on Miss Terrica Ellis. All right. Uh, this was posted by Robert Patrick from the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Now, she went to court on, she had a court hearing via Zoom Friday. That was yesterday, September 25th. Now it says the judge orders defendant in the Sweetie Pie's murder case to be held in jail until trial. She still has not been granted a bond, which is what she has been trying to contest and get to. But I'm personally, I'm gonna side with the judge on this. She doesn't need a bond because she had plenty of time to give up some information and let everyone know what had happened to poor Andre since she was one of the last people to see him. And she was the one who set it up, who set things up and made him available to the to Uncle Tim, okay? She made Andre available to Uncle Tim, snipped him out and offered him up to Tim on a plate. Pretty much is what she did. So no, she does not deserve to be out on bond. Okay. It says a federal judge on Friday ordered a defendant in the murder for hire case involve, involving a former star on the Welcome to Sweetie Pie's reality television show to be held in jail until the trial. And we don't know when that trial could be, but she needs to just sit there, okay? Terrica Tanisha Ellis is one of two defendants charged in the 2016 murder of Andre Montgomery restaurants in St. Louis. We all know that. Now, her defense lawyer, Rocka Morrison, said Ellis was not a danger and needed to be home to care for her two-year-old daughter. Well, you know, you knew you had your two-year-old daughter when you drove from Memphis to St. Louis to set Andre up. You weren't, you weren't thinking about your daughter then, okay? It says that her daughter has a severe type of sickle cell anemia and needs constant monitoring. Hmm. Ellis is pleaded not guilty. So I'm sure, you know, her, her kids are being taken care of by grandma who she left them with when she went and drove to St. Louis to set Andre up. So the judge wasn't buying that, okay? <sighs> a prior uh, lawyer for Ellis had argued that she, was a, that she wasn't accused of knowing about the murder in advance. James Timothy Tim Norman told Ellis he needed her help to find Dre and confront Dre about this $200,000 in cash, supposedly. Attorney Angie Dennis said Friday that Ellis failed to report the crime for more than four years and was both a danger to the community and a flight risk. Well, I wonder why they would think that, okay? She, Dre was killed in 2016. Now she knew she was there and she knew that she called Dre outside. He got in her car and when she drove off, supposedly she heard gunshots. Now she knew all of this since 2016. If you were so concerned about Dre and you wanted to cooperate, why didn't you say something then? Okay, that's what's hurting her right there. Court documents say Ellis twice reported Andre Montgomery's location on the day he was taken away from us. Not only did she tell Tim where he was once, she did it twice. The first time, the first time she reported his location was to Tim Norman. And the second time she caught an unidentified man using a prepaid cell phone. I bet this man has been identified but they are not going to tell us. And I do believe that man could be the actual person that took Dre from us. Now, she's claiming to be innocent and not knowing anything, but you called Tim to let him know where Dre was? And who is this man you called? Okay, we need to know. It says, Ellis heard gunshots as she pulled away from the scene of the murder and dumped her prepaid phone at a gas station as she drove home to the Memphis suburbs 
according to court testimony. So she was smart enough to take off, head back to Memphis, and dump that prepaid cell phone. That lets you know right there, and that's why she's not getting bailed. Those judges, they're not stupid. They know that you knew more than you're telling, and you knew it for well over four years. And she said nothing. It says here, if convicted, both Ellis and Norman could face a minimum sentence of life without parole. The charge also triggers a review by officials in Washington. And we know who's running, who's running Washington right now. It says officials in Washington as to whether prosecutors should seek the death penalty, although approval is rare. But I'm going to tell you, we know who's running things in Washington right now, and there's no telling what type of conviction or sentence they could get. It says that Norman has been arrested, but has not yet appeared in court. Now, we know that, you know, because of all these laws and things that are going on, you can uh, waive your right to be, you can either waive your right to be seen on camera, and he did not want to be seen on camera during his Zoom court hearing, and, you know, even when you're arrested, you still have certain rights, okay? And he did not want to be on camera. So I guess they'll work that out on court. She had her hearing on Friday, trying to get bail again. The judge again held up what the judge had done in um, Mississippi and said, no bail for you, Miss Terrica Ellis. No, ma'am. You had more than an opportunity, more time than we could imagine in four years to give up what you knew about Andre and the people who took his life. And what did you do? You went back to Memphis, you dumped your prepaid cell phone and you never said a word and you know, and what gets me, and I just found this out after reading this, she called Tim and then she called another person and told them where Dre was. So that just lets you know that she was up to no good, okay? All right, guys, that is my commentary and my update for today. Again, I will keep following this story as best I can. St. Louis Post-Dispatch and whomever else, um, you know, that I can find information from. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like this video, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you. Everybody ain't your friend. Everybody ain't your partner. I say I got you, I got you. We don't just hold it down and keep it silent. And when you're not around, I protect your name. I won't talk about you. Everybody ain't your friend.